What's going on YouTube? Chris here with Grenades Exotics. Uh, we're going to do an update on clutch number seven. This clutch actually turned out really, really cool. Um, so take a look. Okay, clutch number seven. Um, had nine eggs. One, I think one went bad. And one of the, uh, there was a pastel in there that, um, it was a really weird looking one, was actually dead in the egg, which sucked because it was really, really unique looking. I wasn't really sure what was going on with it. Um, but we'll go boring to most exciting. So we got a normal. This is a female normal. She, of course, is available. This is just a single gene calico, but it is amazing looking. Like the, I got one size of me up right here. Stop it. Um, just amazing looking. This is a beautiful example of a calico. Um, I mean, the oranges, I don't know if the camera's going to pick it up as good as it should. Um, but this is a male. He is for sale. This is an amazing, amazing quality calico. Alright, so then we ended up with... I'm going to get this one out of the way because it's going to bite me. Um, so then we ended up with two black calicos. And they look completely different. Like, definitely completely different, uh, you know, quality of... Or, or contrast um you know the amount of calico that shows this is a female this is the one i posted on instagram that i said was going to be ridiculous looking and it is like that's a beautiful black calico the amount of of calico that shows through on this one's awesome it's very very washed out towards the back end this one's also a black calico this is a male um still a good looking calico but compared to to the female you know definitely not on the same level of quality um both of these are going to be for sale uh, once they have enough meals. So then we got uh, this pastel calico. Um, really, really cool looking. Uh, very washed out towards the back end there. Um, this one is a... This one's a male. He will be for sale. So then we got a black pewter. Um, with how washed out it is, it could technically be a low quality calico. I I don't think it is. I'm gonna sell it as a black uh, as a black pewter. It could be calico though, with how how washed out the back end of it is. Um, it, there's definitely a possibility, but I'm just I'm gonna sell it as a black calico. It's a male. He's for sale. And then this feisty little bastard over here, 100% black pewter calico so washed out almost no pattern with the exception of right at the top gorgeous gorgeous snake this one actually is way better looking than the male breeder that i have um but he's he's gonna be for sale uh no reason for me to hold him back and and breed him um so he's gonna be for sale also so pretty much everything out of this yeah the, the entire clutch is for sale once they have enough meals if you're interested in anything please let me know clutch number seven uh Black pewter calico to my uh, big mama, to the big normal female. Uh, this clutch turned out really, really cool. Definitely the best uh, best odds I've gotten from this one so far. Um, just the, the, the differences in how much the calico affects, uh, affects the pattern on some of these is ridiculous. Uh, like it completely washes it out on some and it's just a little bit, you know, noticeable on others. But overall, that clutch turned out really, really cool. Um, let me know if you're interested in anything. Um, I think I'm letting. I think I'm letting the whole clutch go. Um, so if you're interested in anything, let me know. Thanks, guys.